Lone Druid has got lots of buff in 734 that has really opened up his item builds. A lot more options now are available and one of those options that 33 is going to explore in this game is playing ranged Lone Druid. That is he's going to put items not on the bear but on the hero primarily. So there's a couple of reasons why this is possible. The first of all just uh, at base Lone Druid has got good range, he's very fast, one of the fastest heroes in the game, and he's universal, so that's all pretty nice. Also getting some extra attack speed from Spirit Link, and uh, True Form is going to make him increasingly tanky. But of course all this has been true as of the last patch as well. What is specifically new in 734 is um, the extra shard on the bear, the fetch ability which is really good, if you put your items on the hero, if your items on the bear, fetch is not that great because well, you do do um, uh, some magic damage, to your magic damage, not that bad. Um, but of course your bear can't attack while he's fetching. But if the main damage comes from your hero, that's not a problem. Also, of course, we've got the new agonims on the hero. So this is going to make the bear unusable while you're spread linking with uh, another hero. Uh, and so... But if, if there's no real items in the bat, that's not a problem. So the Agonims is going to be a strong late game option here um, on this range build. I know he's playing in the offlane here, but he's not really the offlane, all right? He's playing carry from the offlane. Um, this Lycan is like actually the like real offlaner. So don't get the idea that uh, offlane launder is a good thing. Uh, play him as a mid laner or as a carry. In the lane, you're not really doing anything different. Uh, whether you go for a hero focused or a bear focused um, build um, you're gonna get a bunch of stat items at the start um, some branches maybe if you're not going for this 10 branch approach you go for a couple of circlets which uh, um, is the approach i prefer but 33 is decided here to go um, for all these little branches and then he's going for the big items note that he's consistently saving a skill point here this is because and between Naga Siren and uh, Dawnbreaker, they actually have got a lot of burst damage. So he wants to make sure that uh, he has an extra point open so that he can use Savage Roar if required. Normally, of course, you get the, the level Spirit Link right away, but here yeah, he doesn't really need extra region. Right, he's fine. He's not taking damage, really. So keeping the skill point open here is smart. Now he's level 3, he puts a point in Spirit Link, but still keeps a point open. Note he still has a point open here, so... This is why he doesn't have to be afraid of his bear because what he does is just he's going to level up the bear and then you can instantly resummon. Because if you take player based damage within the last 3 seconds, you cannot resummon your bear. But if you level up, you actually create a new bear. So he hasn't taken player damage yet and then you can instantly resummon him. So this is very important because you don't want to lose the bear because that feeds 300 gold and 300 XP. That's more than a kill most of the time in the early game. So very important never to lose your bear. Now he's picked up the treads. So now he's keeping them actually in the bear because even though he's going for this um, Druid focus build, um, at this stage of the game, having the extra attack speed in the bear is actually going to add a little bit more DPS. And also having extra DPS in the bear helps uh, heal up your hero through Spirit Link. Um, so in, in the early game, there's not really any sort of difference in what you do with a bear focused or a hero focus build. An upside of course of that is that you don't have to decide right away from the start whether you go for bear focused or druid focused build. Uh, one thing to note though is if you want to go for the druid focus build you, you definitely want to get uh, treads. Whereas the bear focus build you can go either treads or face boots. Remember that your bear can pick up runes so that's what he's doing here. Six minute rune. Why not? Um, bear cannot pick up wisdom runes. But you can pick up any other kind of rune. First item after Tread is going to be Maelstrom. This is very standard. Whether you go for hero build or bear builds, you want to get um, that extra AoE damage against the illusions. Also, the magic damage from Maelstrom is great against Naga with her high armor. Since it feels very safe here, it's just going to draw creep waves here into the jungle and just farm the creep waves and the neutrals here. At the same time, uh, if you're not having a good lane or if you're scared of dying of course this is not a thing to do and in this case he even gets punished for it so maybe a bit too cocky here now we're switching all the items to the hero we've got the power treads we've got javelin we've got a magic wand magic wand of course is really efficient especially if you started with this many branches 
that cleans up your inventory nicely and it's plus with your attributes you don't know universal hero this is also 6.3 damage which is pretty neat he gets a pig body which of course is a very powerful item universal hero and they're gonna run down this naga here don't do it very fast so no escape here for naga and not just back to farming you want to get that mouse jump one of the basic facts of a launcher is that the bear can only really do stuff and do damage when the hero is nearby. Um, but if you put all your items on your hero, you can still continue farming while your bear does other stuff. Like, for example, you can just send your bear and do some stacking. Of course, you can only do this at uh, a day. So night, of course, groups are sleeping. But this is a nice little bit of extra efficiency you can do uh, if you go for this range build. In this game, 33 is deciding to follow up with a Glefnir right away. I think this is because they've got a pretty low amount of disable in their team. Because the only like real reliable local and stun they have is Bounder Strike. Uh, Pango has got some stuns with his ultimate. Um, Ella Titan has a stun, but it requires some setup and it's not guaranteed. And other than that, um, they don't really have any real disable. So having some extra disable uh, can really help you. If you have more disabled in your team, you probably go for something a, bit, a little bit more right-clicky. Like you can go for a Dragon Lance, for example. Or you can get something like a Difu and uh, just add extra uh, DPS. Or you can just uh, go ahead and upgrade your Maelstrom into a uh, Mjolnir. Of course, it allows you for much better farming. Because he's focusing on his range build, he's decided to max out Spirit Link first over the bear. But of course, you still want to max out the bear. Um, it's also not gotten any uh, uh, TPs for the bear because that's not as important anyway. So um, you can mostly just rely on resummon. All that at some point you still do probably want to get a TP um, for the bear so you can TP him home um, without having to resummon. Making free use of this uh, Gleipnir as well just for farming. Um, it's going to help you out, speed things up a bit. It is a lot of mana, but uh, Lone Druid uh, generally not really strapped for mana. Whenever you're kind of close to the fountain, you can also just uh, send back your bear, walk him home, and also having pick up some items. So he's like an impromptu courier here. But instead of going for the dragon nuts, he decided that he actually wants to go for the shard on the bear, the fetch ability. Uh, you also, of course, want to get the shard for the hero. That's uh, going to uh, speed up uh, your DPS quite a bit, um, especially once you've got uh, Savage Raw maxed out and you've got the level 15 Savage Raw talent. And your shard is going to do a lot. Uh, it dispels you and your bear. It uh, allows for, for better roaring. Um, even when one of the units is uh, silenced or, um, or stunned. And of course, uh, gives a whole bunch of extra attack speed and uh, movement speed to your hero, your bear, and all the nearby units. So it's kind of like a super version of drum. And in this game, the village is really far ahead. There you saw the fetch here coming in. Um, some little bit of extra disable. It's only a root, but it's still uh, very nice just for a shard. And yeah, it's just gonna focus on the buildings. Honestly, I think it's just uh, true form here. Kill this stuff faster. This game has been a little bit stompy, so I'm not gonna continue here too far um, forward. But it does show off that this range build can be quite powerful. Should you go for this every game? I don't think so. I think. Probably most of the time you're better off still just putting your items on the bear. I think like 9 times out of 10 that should be the better alternative. But in games where you think your bear is going to get kited a lot and you want some sort of ranged uh, um, hero there in your team, uh, this can be a very strong option. And it's always nice to have extra um, options in your arsenal so that uh, laundry becomes more flexible and harder to counter pick. You need to be careful not to just let your bear die here. And tier 33 kind of goofs off here. <laughs> Could have easily saved this by just passing aggro. And it takes a bunch of damage um, from the bear dying. But it doesn't matter here. So if you want to see more Lone Druid action, uh, please subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see some more right now, click on the videos here on the screen. And over this willing, I'll see you there.